Hey YouTube, what's up? This is Demark Swimmer with Dead From Tear. See, I have found a way to actually play Dead From Tear the correct way. And I found a new recording software besides traps that probably should, I want it to, work. Because fraps is for some reason it when I started I couldn't play games. Like I would have to record a segment enough so that you could see me go to the next green arrows, which would mean I could go through. But it would say cannot switch resolution quality, which means something's really messed up with my computer. And I apologize. I really wanted to post Dead from Tear videos up, but I was unable to. So, yeah, I'm just going to do a little small gameplay commentary, maybe for, I don't know, might be, it's, it's just tiny. One, I, there's a huge update. Instead of having cruddy pistols, I now made a new account and used all my credits. Oh yeah, I forgot to tell you about credits too, because you're a little bit out of the loop, because I forgot to put up so many Dead for Tier videos that I was making, but then the monitor resolution switch cut them off. So basically, I just wanted to uh, tell you guys that uh, Merc Squad 3 is or XX Squad 3 XX is going to be posting videos. Oh, let me turn the volume down. That's a little loud. Watching a movie on Hulu. So yeah, I was watching a movie on Hulu before that. But Squad 3, he's awesome, sort of. He's a friend in real life, so he's really cool. And, um, I really hope you like my videos. I'm just going to be playing Dead Frontier. Now look at this epicness. Look, an M24 sniper, M24, whatever you want to call it, an M16 assault rifle, and an MP5. And also I have a scorpion on hand at all times for my back pocket, basically, so that if anything happens, I can, I don't know, just destroy everything, basically. And so, look at this. Yep, that's what happens when you have a good enough machine and skill level. See, I, until, up until now, even though I thought I was a really experienced Dead Frontier player, I had no idea that, um, putting points into one group was so important. I thought, wow, it must... I don't know, put, jack up the damage like 0.1 or something, like some games do say the actual stats that they do, and sometimes it's really whippy and puts you off from using that. But Dead Frontier makes it so much worthwhile, because this same MP5 used to only take out three zombies with one click, clip, and now it takes up, I don't know, I'll show you when I get mobbed. And you can see, and you can judge for yourself how effective it is with um, double the amount in, almost doubled the amount needed to for, um, just use it off the bat. And this M24, it's a nice rifle. I've, I've been working on rifles. I really wish Dead Frontier would put in different meshes for each different individual gun instead of just for a generalized class. Like, all submachine guns look like this. Even though this is what the MP5 usually looks like. If you see me pull out my Scorpion because I run out of MP5 ammo, you'll notice that Sorry, my words are slurring because I'm talking fast. I'll slow that because one of my friends who watches my videos and another um, SK Troop or something. Yeah, I don't remember the numbers after, but he's a really good subscriber. He's commented on many of my videos. Just want to give a shout out to him. And also the fact that look at this, look at this epic skills. I can walk back and forth on tiles. So let's see, yeah, I'm gonna just walk around, I mean seriously, what else is there to do besides walking around and killing zombies? I want, I went all the way back to Nastia's, Natsuya's I think actually, outpost, to see if the 2D demo was better, but actually it was worse, so don't try it at all, ever, ever, because roll, because thing number one, um, you get zero experience and zero cash for doing missions, so that's kind of one of the reasons I wanted to, because I like doing missions. Um, number two is the fact that, well, you might be able to guess that 
when you say when it says turn to classic um, 2D Dead Frontier, it basically says you you lose so much experience and it's not even worth it. And they nerf the loot, so it's basically like playing. It's like they don't want you to play it. Maybe they just want you to test out all the bugs in this thing before you even try. So yeah. Sorry, that was kind of impulsive. So, uh, I'll tell you a little bit about my character, Scotty Brown. Yeah, that's a nickname I got in school, don't ask. Um, my character, he's an athlete. He's That means he gets plus 25 agility off the bat, which is pretty cool, I think. Um, he has high agility, of course, high critical hit, high reloading, and high strength, so he can carry heavier weapons. So I think I put those in, those uh, points into good use in all three of those categories. And he specializes in rifles and machine guns so far. I'm not really sure what my third is going to be. I just want to level up these two rifles and machine guns up high enough. Just, gonna do, just showing you. And I wanted to level them up enough. Oh, well, because I missed a lot with that clip. And also, I didn't get any criticals. See? Look, I just took them out in like three bullets. So. What? What's your problem? Sit down. Yeah, I'm gonna be waking, making my way back to Dog's Stockade. Because, um, that place is epic. It might take me a while, though. And I might actually have to finish this over a long time period. I might not even finish when I'm doing this because I have to study and stuff. So, yeah. Whatever. Look at this. This game has turned a long way. If you look at Dead Front look up Dead Frontier 2D and see what it was before. And then look at this. I have it on extremely low, I think. So I can, I guess, record faster for you guys. Because, um, my friends at school, since they're also YouTube commentators, I know it sounds kind of stupid, but, um, check out Kaiko16, that's, once again, Kaiko16, K-I-G-H-T-K-O-16, and he, he, um, has been the source of much of my criticism, I mean, Squad 3's giving me stupid criticism, like, you know, the fact that, since it's an internal mic, mic that I'm using to record this with, that when I type, it sounds like I'm beating a baby against my microphone. Which I'm not, just in case you're wondering. Um, so yeah. What I like to do is make a little puzzle. It looks like when you're bored, I like making a little puzzle out of this loading area thing. That's what I miss. The fact that you have to load areas now, and they didn't make areas much bigger. Well, actually, I made them substantially, but not enough to justify the giant loading thing. I'd rather just have a bunch of short segments that you just kind of walk through and it's over in a couple of milliseconds. La 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 la. Oh hi zombie. I've met some kind of fat zombie. I don't know what it's called. I'm gonna check the wiki and see what it is. But it explodes. Yeah, it ex literally explodes when you shoot it. Which is kinda weird if you think about it. And it makes this weird noise. At first I thought it was a mother, and then I thought, wow. There are a lot of mothers. Because the mother zombies has to like... It's like a... Titan-ish type of monster. But then I realized that it wasn't. So, I was disappointed. Because I thought I killed... But I killed like five of them in a row, so I thought, wow, that's kind of weird. And I only got like 1% experience, so I thought there was something weird about that. Pretty soon I'm going to pull out the scorpion, and you'll see that the submachine gun mesh didn't really change that much. You guys, I really recommend machine gun and rifle class setup. Um, and I also recommend, I know, I'm not, I'm not going to tell you guys to buy stuff if you don't have the money, you don't want it. If you don't have the money, or you don't have a way... Like, your parent don't get it for, like, your Christmas gift, Dead Frontier Threads, unless you want it. Like, 
do what I did and just use like say that oh I'll do chores if or do start doing chores to get what you want. So that way you don't seem like a lazy but freeloader to your parents and you actually do something. Or if you're a full grown adult and you don't have the money, I can't really help you there. You can't ask your boss to pay buy you dead frontier credits and say well and then say, Oh yeah, I'll work for free for two weeks. I don't think that will work. So yeah. I bought two hundred, which is eight bucks. And I'm pretty happy with it because I bought some good, decent starting weapons and I sold some from my old account that I bought. I've sold my Bowie knife and my Epic Shotgun Highlander. But I sold them for a pretty high price because they were, they had full, they had good four on each Mastercraft. Like, you know when you have three stats? Well, they had four on each Mastercraft, which I find pretty useful. And it was funny because I after I just bought my rifle, I went on a deep looting run, and I came back with the same rifle, the SL8. <laughs> and by the way, I'm using Hypercam to record this, so yeah, Hypercam actually works because Fraps 